Hey you guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about Type-C and the IoT attributes of the app. So as technology advances, a lot of new electronic devices are using Type-C as this new generation of USB interface. But with that, they all vary in charging voltage, so they require different adapters. Adapters like these convert high alternating current into low voltage direct current. What we've done here at EcoFlow is integrated a Type-C interface that allows you to directly connect without the use of an adapter to charge or power your device. This increases efficiency and this Type-C interface is a DC to DC circuit. So the loss of electricity is very minimal during uh, the process of transmission. Another cool thing about this Type-C interface is that when a device is connected, it will read the current and voltage required by the device and provide the correct values. We call this an intelligent supply as a variety of different devices can all be plugged in uh, without the use of an adapter. And the maximum output is 100 watts. So something like a MacBook can be charged really fast. There's two modes of connecting to the device with Wi-Fi. The first is the hotspot AP mode, which is best for when you're out in the field with no internet access and you still want to connect to the device. You can simply press the IoT button and connect your phone to the hotspot. And the second is STA mode, which is best for like a home setup for let's say backup or solar power, where you can connect this device to your own Wi-Fi network and then you connect your phone, giving you control of the device from anywhere, anytime. So I'm gonna walk you guys really quickly through what it looks like to connect to the device through Wi-Fi. Go ahead and turn it on and you're gonna press and hold the IoT button until you hear the beep. Okay, and now you can see here there's a Wi-Fi icon flashing. So now you can go into the EcoFlow app and add a new device by pressing this plus symbol up in the top right. You confirm the operation and hit next. This will take you to your Wi-Fi settings where you can connect to this device. Connect. And once it's connected, you can go back, hit next. And here's where, where you'll choose your Wi-Fi network. You can also add a device name. Once that's completed, you just hit next. And you're gonna wait for this um, check mark to appear. And that means that the connection uh, is finished and you can go ahead and click the finish button. And the icon will remain solid. Okay, hit finish. And now you have your device here. You can select this, and now you have control over the device. So as you can see, we can switch between AC, DC, the light, and any other parameters that are built into the app. All right, you guys, this video wraps up our first video series where we've gone in depth about our technology, conducted tests, and hopefully given you a much better idea of how you can get the most out of these portable power stations. So thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.